Claw machines are so enticing and so very enraging. If you've ever tried to reach for a stuffed animal and almost gotten it, you only had yourself to blame. Or did you? According to Vox, that may not be the case. Anyone who has played a claw machine can relate to the experience of having the claw perfectly positioned, only to see it weakly graze the prize before pulling back up. Oh, man! It may seem like the machine isn't even trying, and, well... It is not your imagination. Those claw machines are rigged. Take, for example, the manual for Black Tie Toys Advanced Crane Machine. If you look at page 8, section subheading Claw Strength, you will see a horrifying piece of information. Managing profit is made easy. Simply input the coin value, the average value of the merchandise, and the profit level. The machine will automatically calculate when to send full strength to the claw. And you might notice a subheading that says dropping skill. They can program the machine to make you think you almost won. So this all came from the instruction manual uh, for a specific claw machine from Black Tie Toys Advanced Crane Machine. Though it is not specific to this, uh, this one company and one machine design, apparently it is ubiquitous across the country. So what we'd be able to do, what we'd, we'd be able to do with this is that people who own the claw machine would be able to set strength of the claw uh, to whatever their discretion is and, you know, maybe set it to a way that they'd have a 50% profit on what they've uh, received versus what they've given out in the machine. I was surprised to see this. I, I have a long history with claw machines. I oh, love do claw you? machines. Yeah. They used to call me the claw master. What? <laughs> Who called you that? All my friends. No, because I, I, um, there is a, there, I had a, a whole strategy for how I could win with claw machines. Most mm -hmm. of it had to do with just picking the right machine. Really? And the right prizes. Like how do you not know? having them wedged. Um, I would just look at it. You know, if, if the things are wedged together, the claws are never strong enough to pull an item mm -hmm. out. So it's got to be just laying right on top. And then that's the only time you even try it. Mm -hmm. so you end up walking away from more machines than you play. I was shocked to see this, though, and to find out that the claw strength actually changes. Yes. So it will be at full strength, according to this, as low as uh, 1 out of 23 times. Otherwise, it would be at half strength, which is what would happen when you maybe grab the head of a stuffed animal and it drops before it goes to the chute well, that it would fall into. And then if people win, even when it's on a lower strength, the, mach the machine will probably lower the ability of the, the strength of the claw so it would be able to recoup its losses. Uh, which is funny because recently we came off of a stint where the entire Young Turks company was over at YouTube Space LA. They have a claw machine. Um, Everybody seemed to lose, though I won four out of five times that I played it, so I think I may have messed it up for everyone. <laughs> My bad, sorry, I'm so good at this. The best timing, apparently. Yeah, I was a little disappointed because I had always thought my algorithms were based on all the physics of the situation yeah, and not so, you, so much chance. So I guess what you want is something very, very light. I think I just got really lucky with timing as well. Maybe we did, or maybe we're just the coolest people in the world and we're so good at this. <laughs> um, well, since uh, Vox published this information, uh, BMI Gaming, which is the, the creators of that instruction manual, took the manual off the internet. It was publicly available before. Now they don't want us seeing it, which kind of sucks. Um, in a response published at Vending Times, which is a thing, uh, there was more detail about how some claw machine operators are responding to charges of rigged machines. Uh, the article confirms what one source told the writer of, uh, from Vox, confusing state regulations make it hard to know what the area's laws and self-policing remains the primary method of regulation because this is kind of almost gambling, I would it say. It is, it works. If the prize is not worth that much, they right. they consider it not gambling. Oh, is that what it, that's the the, yeah. the guideline? Well, you know, it's it's definitely it's like a slot machine. Mm -hmm. You know, I think they mentioned that is it and it pretty much operates just like one. So yeah, I'd say it's pretty much gambling. But I, knowing knowing that that's the algorithm. So another thing that is used to help mitigate uh, how this is working is you know if your machine never pays off, people won't go to it. It'll have a bad reputation, like you said earlier, and people won't go. So there's definitely a balance. Uh, it seems like the way that most claw machine uh, owners are being able to turn a profit is by putting cheaper and cheaper prizes in the machines, let even if you do win, it's not that big of a loss. No big loss, I guess. Uh, except, I don't know, I feel, do you feel a little bit 
betrayed and like your skill isn't being as rewarded as, as you thought before? I do before? because that's what that's why I played. <laughs> I played claw machines because I thought I we could outsmart the we're machine. We're so good, that's, and it turns out maybe not. Right. You know, do you have the eye? You know, eye line. Do you have the positioning correct? You know, I thought. You know, I had to be, pay attention to. You know, the fact that it rotates on its way down, and so you think about that's where the claws are going to land. I had all these strategies. We think we can based do on all the, the physics. Math. It doesn't doesn't do anything. What do you think, audience? Even if the machines are rigged, which they may be, maybe rigged is a strong word for vending Times Magazine, uh, but would you still use this claw knowing what you know now about the likelihood that you would get the prize? It is a little bit rigged against you. Uh, let us know below what you think in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe for more.